One year ago tonight, right about now, a number of college students living in the iconic village apartments in San Marcos were doing what college kids do, hanging out, studying, maybe sleeping. Never knowing the horror that would wake them in the middle of the night, the deadliest fire in that city's history. Here's what we know one year later. Whoever started the fire has never been caught. As investigators say, they continue to get leads in their efforts to solve this crime. Five people died that night. Seven others were hurt, including 21-year-old Zachary Stutterfield. He was a Texas State University student with a bright future who is left with wounds that have scarred him forever. Tonight, he walks us through the heartbreaking divide between his life before and after this fire. Here's KVU's Tony Plohetsky. Mike, Zach Sutterfield was just like any other college student the day a fire ripped through the iconic village apartments. After spending a year in the hospital, he's been forced to chart a new path for himself that includes a wish for justice for the person who said it. These are pictures of Zach Sutterfield in an earlier chapter of his life. There's the one of him at high school graduation in San Angelo, class of 2016. I used to have long blonde hair. I used to wear very nerdy glasses and I would consider myself a decent looking kid. Or the one of him smiling brightly at a table, the photo he still sometimes uses on Facebook. I never considered myself a vain person. I didn't really care about how I looked too much. Don't get me wrong, I loved wearing a suit though. This is Zach today. Part of his skull removed due to a head injury scarred on 70% of his body. I, I, I can still feel where my fingers should be. His hands all but gone. I feel like I lost a part of myself too. Um, whether that was the, the, the confidence side of me or the outspoken extrovert, that just something else was lost in there and I can't necessarily uh, place it. One year ago, Zach almost died in a fire at the iconic village apartments in San Marcos. Early on the morning of July 20th, he remembers waking up, feeling hot, then realizing he was on fire. It felt like a nightmare feels, but you couldn't get away from it. Zach ran outside and jumped from the second floor, landing on his head. He vaguely recalls other residents' voices, trying to save his life. I remember people yelling at me, to tell, telling me to do things. Um, secondhand accounts, people were putting me out with their clothes or whatever they had grabbed from their apartment to stop the fire. The fire killed Drew Westis, James Miranda, and Belinda Motes. Zach lost his two roommates, 19-year-old Haley Frizzell from his same high school and 21-year-old David Ortiz from Pasadena. Medics rushed Zach to the burn unit at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, critically injured. Next uh, memory I have is Christmas. Over the past year, he's had two dozen surgeries, several more planned. I have a, a CO2 laser surgery to help remove some of the burn scars next week. He's had to learn to walk and do other basic daily routines all over again. Slowly but surely, I'm getting a little closer to where I was before the fire. On the first anniversary of the morning that forever changed his life, Zach says he speaks for all the victims and still wanting to know how someone could set fire to a place filled with young college students. Help them and help me understand why. At the same time, he's also planning a new life. Just weeks before the fire, Zach had transferred from San Angelo State University to Texas State to finish his last two years of college. His teachers back home had always encouraged him to be the best and convinced him to go into teaching to help inspire the next generation. They have a teacher that's willing to help them, set aside the time to talk to them and just be there for that child. That could be the next president or the next scientist that cures cancer. As he moves forward, Zach plans to keep pursuing his teaching dream, living by his own words. I can let this incident define me, or I can define it. I used to take life for granted, and never again will I take a day and not enjoy something about it. 
Zap plans to spend much of the day Saturday with family members of those who died in the fire, as well as investigators still working to solve it. Anyone with information is asked to call a special tip line at 1-800-ATF-TIPS. Tony Plahetsky, KVU News.